and welcome to another VHS review. And following on from episode 31, today we're looking at Futurama Tape 2, which I recorded off Adelaide's Channel 7 over the first few months of 2003. It was the first time I'd seen any of these season 3 episodes, including Luck of the Fryish, my absolute favourite. Ah, but it was a great summer. I was 15 and there was only one thing on my mind. Spot the young Miranda Kerr there. Also, just a side note, you'd think airport security would be a bit better so soon after 9-11. But if you want sexual imagery in a soft drink commercial, get straight to the point, I say. Bundaberg Diet Ginger Beer. For the true lover of the traditional ginger beer taste. True Brew Diet Ginger Beer. Disgusting. Back in the olden days, if you wanted a blue soft drink, you had to drive to Mount Gambia for one of their famous Maloney's Blue Lake Lemonades. But in 2003, with the introduction of Sprite Ice and Pepsi Blue, you were spoilt for choice. Not sure what was going on with Pepsi's manufacturing process though. Now at first glance, it looks like they're turning blue CDs into Pepsi Blue, but they're actually turning them into the clear plastic bottles for the Pepsi Blue, which just seems kind of unnecessary. Not to mention inefficient, I mean, why not use simple conventional plastic injection moulding? Or if they waited a few years, they could have used Blu-rays. Well, I found it, the world's most disturbing orange juice commercial. You sure you got enough? One hundred percent Australian oranges with the natural goodness of calcium. Why would you bother? Australian Fresh Plus. The goodness of orange juice plus calcium for strong bones and teeth. Yes, child protection services, please. Now, the brand recall has lifted significantly from both target audiences in the previous fiscal. And I think that's due mainly to the fantastic PR effort that we put in this year, and also the funds that we ploughed into the point of sale program. Now, if I can draw your attention to the whiteboard, you'll see the graph is showing particularly high increases on the left of about 10 to 25%. There's only one place to buy or sell anything. The classifieds and the ties are in Sunday Mail. I don't think so. The early 2000s were a strange time. Analog and digital were still aggressively separate things. One hadn't been assimilated by the other yet, like those parasites that turned snails into weird disco zombies. Take a look at this ad for Flight Center. Some people believe airfares are cheaper on the internet. At Flight Center, we guarantee to beat any internet price. Save $5 on any flight within Australia or New Zealand and $20 on other international flights, only in Flight Center stores. Call 131600. That's 131600. Cheaper than the internet. I know those words, but that sign makes no sense. By the way, this is Flight Center today. 
2003 was also an era of truly awful reality shows. Meet a construction worker worth 19,000 a year and the 20 women who've traveled to a chateau in France to compete for his heart. Why? They think he's worth $50 million. 20 million US viewers are hooked, watching if true love can survive a $50 million lie. A new reality series with a twist. It's a dream come true. It means so much to me. That's really twisted. Joe Millionaire begins next Thursday on 7. Twisted, yes. Uh, unethical, another word that you could have used there. In a, let's see how these innocent people react to the lies we tell them kind of way. Another thought, if they were making that show today in Australia and the guy was a construction worker, he probably would be worth 50 million. A decision on Iran, as the world waits, rely on 7 News. Our own reporters on the ground in Baghdad, Kuwait, Washington and London. Exclusive expert analysis from Australian UN weapons inspector Richard Butler. Iraq is toast. Backed up by live coverage from the world's leading international news services. 7 will keep Australia fully informed live as events unfold. Adelaide's 7 News, the most watched. This isn't a war, it's a murder. This isn't a war, it's a murder. Here's a camera commercial the whole family can be offended by. Introducing Olympus Digital Mew. Looks like he was using all five of them. Stop! The formula! Where is the formula? Have you got the formula? Men can sweat up to 50% more than women. So you need a hard-working antiperspirant created especially for men. New Rexona forces for men. It won't let you down. Or you could just remember the formula. I mean, it's not like it's the Lagrangian form of the standard model equation. This one's only 10 characters. But no, he's taken a photo, printed it, cut out the characters with a scalpel or something, sprayed it onto his chest, and then destroyed the evidence. Work smarter, not harder. And wouldn't the sweat from higher up just drip down and smudge the formula anyway? Wow! You're an idiot! And finally... How good is that? Here's proof you don't need a big budget to make a genuinely funny ad. Andrew, can you clear table seven? Right away! Need training? Think Comskill. Have you replied to the kids' email? Yes, doing it now. Need training? Think Comskill. Can you go and dress Mrs. Simpson? Sure. <laughs> Need training? Think Comskill. You done that filing yet? Just finishing up now. If you don't know, we'll show you. Training from $10 an hour. Comskill. How good is that? See ya. That's all that we've got time for oh, no. here at Amy Stadium. A big thank you to David M. Green, David uh, audio M. Green. stylings back in the studio. Another wonderful com. job. How are we getting back to Melbourne, Rex? By David M. Green's magic mat. <laughs>